But I'm saying I, I can't come on to a point because we were, what, what we married for? What we married for? I'm not your mama and your wife. I just pulled a 13 hour shift. I just knew I was gonna come home and have, have some food on the goddamn stove. And now you playing, man. You been doing it for like two or three months, man. What is it? You don't pay no goddamn bill. I pay the car note, the house notes, family trips, I'll pay for So as you can see, it's gonna be a little quick when um let me just start by saying call hello you like Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai Bahashim Rakahakudash Double honors to our apostles and elders, a great millstone who rule well that by the spirit taught us this beautiful truth. And just want to say the water to all the Akim and Akwaf. Let's out here sincerely keeping the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai to the best of their ability. Hey, hang on, brothers, because we going back into rulership. We're gonna be back on top like we used to be. And we're not going to be dealing with no shit like this, man, from, from the end up, man. You see? Because a woman is supposed to be a help. You know what I'm saying? This, this, this man, <laughs> when it's, you know, when it said he went and worked a 13-hour shift and came home. And, and you see she was being just fucked up by, you know, here, take a, slight, take a bite of my pizza. And then a lot of these women are wondering why, you know, they're doing so bad out here as of late, man. Women, not, hey, it's not going too well. I know I know a whole, I've been seeing it. <laughs> I've been coming across them. I got girl cousins, aunties, <laughs> sisters. Hey, it's not going well for women out here, man, right now. And, and especially these ones, you know, you got older ones, you know, that's, you know, like 45 to 50. Still out here, you know, they they, they seeing that. That 17 to 20 year old body, you know, is just not, you know, none of that shit is doing it no more. Now they done came to a point of realizing like, God damn, I'm about to be damn near 60 and I'm alone. Been hearing all that. But hey, judgment is coming for you women, man. As a matter of fact, let me get this real quick. Let's get this. Let's start with this scripture real fast. The women that are at ease. Because it's nothing. And, and, and God forbid if that guy got got fucking babies with this with her ass, golly man. If she if they got children together, like she's not cooking for the children neither. Anyway, anyway, anyway. But hey, this is the, to be expected. This is the part of the curses that we're under, man, as a people, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, man. We're Hebrew Israelites. We broke those rules and regulations with our father as men. First off. And then the Lord's like, hey, all right, I'm going to show you what's up. <laughs> I'm going to show you what's up. I'm going to send y'all asses into slavery. I'm going to put all kinds of doom and darkness on y'all asses. And, and we've been going through it, man. We've been going through it as a people. But in these last days, it's going to be seriously, seriously treacherous for you women out here, man. Especially you so-called black women. Hispanics and Native American women, and and, and, and top of the list, you so-called black women, y'all, 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 and hey, y'all gonna get it the worst, man, from the Lord, for real. All that high-mindedness, that all that, you know, them big ass eyebrows on, running around out here thinking that the world revolves around your ass. You about to see when shit hits the fans, and that hunger and famine and pestilence and all that stuff really sets in. Those, you know, you're gonna be in for a rude awakening, and you gonna remember every good guy that you ran through too. Isaiah 32 and 9, rise up ye women that are at ease. Hear my voice, ye careless daughters. Give ear unto my speech. Many days and years shall ye be troubled, ye careless women. Because that's real careless, man. For the vengeance shall fail. The gathering shall not come. See? And that, you know, a, a matter of fact, you know, when it comes to the men, it's, it's important, man, to stay on top of your game, man. I mean, I, I wouldn't even marry a woman in, in America on, on, on American standards. You know, that's just me personally. You know, it's nothing wrong with what you, you know, you, you meet a woman, y'all get together, whatever, whatever. That's, it. <laughs> but me going and, 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 and standing before the so-called white man and all this old, now I pronounce you man and wife and I got to give you a ring and all that shit. Nah, 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 nah. Not in these last days. That, that is a goddamn headache. Because as you can see, there, it, it's all work, no reward. 
And I've been saying this too. Women are a goddamn bill these days. You're, you're just a bill. You're like a, a extra bill. You're like an extra bill. It's like basically paying for a car that don't work. You know, you're paying a car to put every month, but the car don't start. You know, the engine is blown. You know, it, it's, it's all work, no rewards, man. Verse 11, it says, tremble ye women that are at ease. Be troubled, ye careless ones. Strip you and make you bare and gird sackcloth upon your loins. And it's high, high time to awake out of sleep. Get yourself together, man. Because it's going to come a point where you're going to be like, man, I wish I had kept that man. I wish I had kept that man. I'm scared. You're going, your ass going to be shivering. <laughs> While some, some savages probably going to be trying to break in your damn house to get that box you've been showing off all your damn life. You're walking out outside with your tits out, your cheeks out. The dude across the street next door, they all been peeping you. And you just wait until you can't call 911 no more, man, when all this shit hits the fans, man, out here. Because it's about to get crazy. And it's, it's time for you women to, to, to humble yourselves, man, and repent, man. Humble yourselves. Repent. You all, yeah, you, you're going to need, you're going to want a man in your life, man, when, when things, because men going to be able to handle a, a lot better than, than, than women. Women, I mean, men going to get fucked up too. Don't get me wrong, but they're going to be able to maintain a lot better than a woman that's got three, four children, man. You know? Here you go. You running around out here. You got a baby on the tit and you got a, a toddler. Then a six year old, a seven year old, you know, eight year old. You got them in, you know, in a step, stair stepper type of way. And you out here, inflation and went through the roof. The, the money. I mean, hey, look, Jake not even dealing like that no more. Jake is like, man, hey, look, I got I got to pay for you. <laughs> Jake not looking at the world like that no more. It's not as, as simple and easy as it used to be. And a lot of women, they didn't drop their standards. You know what I'm saying? They used to be able to just run game on a nigga and get whatever it was that they wanted out of them. A car paid for and this, you know, my house note and all this. Man, look, Jake is like, hey, nah, I, I, don't, I don't have it for you. I got me a, a studio apartment. That's all I need. <laughs> I'm by myself. All my money is going towards me. Because I go to the supermarket and I'll be looking like, well, damn, shit is expensive as hell. You know what I'm saying? But it's just me. I'm on a dolo. I can't even imagine uh, 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 bringing food home for a wife and four kids, say, three kids, five kids, just a family of five or a family of six. I can't imagine that shit. So just imagine a woman. The food stamps are not stretching as far as they used to because of inflation. Because this food, I'm telling you, is expensive as hell. Them same food stamps that you was getting last year, I mean, or, or two, three, four years ago, before COVID set in and all this other shit, it's not stretching as far as it used to. And they're not, you know, adding anything on. Go check out some of these food banks. Go to, go, go, go to your local food drive and see who's there. It's that same chick with the goddamn eyelashes on and them long ass fingernails trying to look cute as hell, but out here need all the help in the world, man. But this shit right here, <laughs> this is ridiculous, but it's not surprising. It's not surprising. Let's play it again and I'm going to end out, man. I'm not going not gonna to keep it long. I, I do want to grab one more scripture, though. Let me see. See if I can find this one. Genesis 2 and 18, it says, And the Lord Yahweh God said, It is not good that man should be alone. I will make him and help me for him. What the fuck do you think the word help means? If he's going to work and he's bringing the money home, you know, he he, he clearly says he's paying the house note, he's paying the car note. You know, so, you know, he, he says family trips, you know, of course, he's he's bringing home the money to provide food in the refrigerator. And it's uh, let me just be classy, man. And she's standing there eating pizza, man. Ain't going to offer him a bite of the pizza instead of making a man a meal. How long is I mean, how long does it take to really make a meal? These days, I mean, every goddamn thing is instant anyway, out of the pan, out of the can, into the pan, so to speak. How long does it take to actually put together a meal? It don't take that long, man, uh, to, to, to um, you know, put together, um, 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 you know, your meats or whatever and slide it into the oven or, you know, however you do it, you, whether you're frying it, whether you you broiling it, hell, the damn stove doing all the work for you. 
Hell, you can you can just dress a chicken or dress a steak or whatever. You know, you can slide something right into the oven, man, and make some sides. It's, that shit is simple, you know? And she's standing there smart as hell. Provide and protect. Provide and protect. But see, if that Jake was to get the hell up and leave, and see, it, and his system is set up so, so fucked up against the man, especially the so-called black man, where if he did leave, she could still get half of all the shit. Got him on, and, and like I said, again, God forbid he's, uh, you know, got some kids with that weirdo. <laughs> Straight up, man. Straight up. As a matter of fact, let me see. It's another one. Is that his name? Timothy, I think. He put it in like this. Remembering some of the words of it. Yeah, that was First Timothy. Uh, yeah. It's going to the no Titus. I think it's one another one too. But let's get this one. This is uh the good one right here. Verse three, Titus two and three. The aged woman likewise, that they be in behavior as becometh holiness, not false accusers, not given to too much wine teachers of good things that they may teach the young women to be sober to love their husbands to love their children to be discreet chastity keepers at home what do you think keepers at home goes into meals man that goes off into washing clothes and keeping the house clean and things of that nature if he's going to work and working 13 hours a day i mean it, it, it's incredible man <laughs> I had a woman tell me uh, a few days ago, like, uh, yeah, I don't, you know, I don't want kids because it's just too much work. You go 40, 50, you don't have children and stuff like that, you know, but it's still out here trying to live like a fucking teenager, man. Anyway, let's get that again. The aged women, likewise, that they be in behavior as becometh holiness, not false accusers, not giving too much wine, teachers of good things, that they may teach the young women to be sober, to love their husbands. To love their children. How do you love your husband and your children, man? You're going to just let, fucking let them just starve? To be discreet, chastity, keepers at home, good, obedient to their own husbands. See that? That the word of Yahweh be not blasphemed. And of course, we know she's a complete damn demon. But you know, we, you know, we're just running down the aspects of what a woman really should be doing, man. The older women should be teaching the young, younger women. And that process is supposed to be going on, you know, generation to generation as a circuit, man, so to speak. You know, here you go. The man that worked 13 hours and, and you got all and, and talking all kinds. But you know what? Simp. And he had to have known that she was like that before he really met her like that you know and that's why it's a good thing to get to know a woman man ask some questions and shit you know get 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 into some real questions with a woman when you meet them a lot of them don't have no damn answers <laughs> you know they because they talk about what they only thing they bring into the table is some box look at me and look at how good i look okay well that's all right there's plenty of chicks out here that look good shit now there's women out here man that they 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 they, they, have, they buying them bodies now that's nothing what, what can you really bring to the table? You know what I'm saying? So this is just ridiculous. But anyway, <laughs> I'm going to end out here. Let's get the video one more time, though, because this is funny as hell. And Jake just say, hey, I mean, hey, but hey, we going into the when we when the Lord comes back, you women are going back into your rightful order, man. You ain't going to be out here with that smart ass mouth, you know, <laughs> you ain't going to be out here um, um, looking down on your man, you know. But that scripture does go off into, let me see if I could get this real quick. It's a lot. Where the Lord said he'll make a new, he's going to make a new thing in the earth. A woman compassing a man. And that's pretty much where it's at too. And the Lord has used the so-called white man to pull that off. See, this is this man's kingdom. And in, in, in the so-called white man's kingdom, the woman is able to pull this type of shit. You're not, this is not going down in, 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 um, any of those eastern eastern countries man jeremiah 31 and 22 how long without go about oh oh thou backsliding daughter for the lord has created a new thing in the earth a woman shall compass a man and that's pretty much about what's going on out here the woman done compass the man and but you know what the lord is starting to to, to roll that shift back around man because dudes is just not going for it no more it, it it's it's not worth it I say it again, it's too much work and no reward. When you work for something, man, it's like going to work 
and, and you, 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 you don't put in 40 hours and you get no pay and you keep doing it every week. You're like, well, damn shit, I got to. You know what I what I do have, I had to put gas in my ride to even get to work for you and I'm not going to get paid to continue being able to get here. I, I need money for food, you know what I'm saying? To have strength to even get to the job, to even do the job. You know, it's like, that don't even make no sense. So, so, but our, our men, man, they, hey, they, they, that's why the scriptures talks about um, uh, uh, not being basically enticed by the beauty of a woman, roughly paraphrasing. Like, for real, man, you have to, you got to use some damn self-control out here because so, cause she'll, a woman will see you in something nice, driving a nice ride, see you dress nice, and, and, and they got, every, and they're just in love with you. But lose all that shit, man, and see how quick they, they, they leave your ass. It's rare that a woman is going to stick around, man, and, and, and hold you down, man, when you're going through bad times. It's rare. And that's how you can tell, too. You know? Don't get me wrong. Get some women out here that get that'll get down for their man, you know. But that, that shit is far and few these days, man. <laughs> Straight up, man. So you have to be careful, brothers, when you um dealing with the women, man. It's just that simple. It's that simple, man. Don't just jump into some shit because you're burning, you know. Because <laughs> yeah, hey, you, you you know that that that. That, that hour of passion or 20 minutes of passion, whatever amount of time it lasts, you don't want that 20 year uh, uh, hookup, you know, that 18 years of just dealing with this motherfucker, man. You had a kid with a, a monster, man. But anyway, let's let's play it again. I'm going to end out. But I'm saying, I, I can't come home to him. Why do What What we married for? What we married for? I'm not your mama, I'm your wife. I just pulled a 13 hour shift. I just knew I was gonna come home and have, have some food on the goddamn stove. They got you playing, man. Offer them some pizza. You been doing it for like two or three months, man. What is it? You don't pay no goddamn bill. I pay the car note, the house notes, family trips. I pay for. Incredible, bro. But hey, this is not surprising, man. This is how we fallen as a um, a nation of people. We fallen as a nation of people. As a matter of fact, that go uh, that Matthew twenty four and twelve, where it talks about um, the love of many shall wax cold because of um, because iniquity shall. Um, how that goes? So like you, I end out with that. Y'all right to say. Because this lady, hey, that that's that's showing absolutely no love whatsoever, right there, man. But this is how wild, you know, the planet done got, man, under the rulership of this this so-called white man. Matthew twenty-four and twelve it says, "And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold." See, because it's so much sin, it's just continual um, um, sin, man. Treachery out here, it's just continual. It, it don't stop. The shit is perpetual, man. So the love of many don't wax cold because there, there's no way that, you know, you, 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 you know, if you love somebody. They're going to work and bring her home the, 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 the money to provide everything in the house, the lights, the gas, the, you know, the clothing for, you know, for you, you know, the children and whatever else, you know what I'm saying? It's a lot that goes off into, you know, being in a, um, a, a relationship like that, because that man could easily if he didn't have her. He's probably paying an extra car note for her ass and insurance, all kinds of shit. But if he was just to himself, he would do a whole lot better. Because he can just go get some box. There's nothing to go and get some, some coochie, man. <laughs> There's nothing to go get some cooch and not even have the problems. There's, there's women out here that's selling cooch. Throw them a couple of dollars. <laughs> And come out a, a whole whole lot cheaper. Here you go. You got you 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 got to lay in the bed with a bitch like this, man. Get up to this. You can't get no breakfast. You can't get no no lunch. Bitch won't even make you a sandwich, man. That's ridiculous. <laughs> that's why. That's why I'm saying that's all work, no reward. And and a lot of our men, a lot of our, our the men of our nation go through that shit on a regular basis, man. Go to go through that shit on a regular, regular basis, and the women act just like that in a lot of these relationships. And quick to fucking get up and cheat, quick to to, to go and want a damn divorce when you stop doing certain things. 
Well, anyway, like I said, though, we living in these last days. <laughs> and this shit is about to come to a, a, an abrupt end, man. You women better get it together, man. Y'all better, hey, y'all better get it together, cause trust me, with the shit that's going on right now, all these prophecies coming to pass, the Lord is about to put y'all on blast, man. You want to be a, 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 under a real covering, and, and 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 mainly with a man of the Lord. I'm telling you, it's about to get rough out here, man. So with that, I pray that the lesson was edifying. Kwame Yashala.